and welcome to TTELT, Teaching Tips for English Language Teachers, a program of educators worldwide. I'm your host today, Melanie Gobert. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of TTELT, Teaching Tips for English Language Teachers. Joining us today is Noradin Sharif. He is a, an ESL instructor at Newton's Grove School in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Welcome, Noradine. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me and for the opportunity. He's going to be talking about incorporating AI into TBLT classrooms. Over to you, Noradine. Thank you so much. So we'll, we'll start with the, talking about what is TBLT. So basically, the TBLT is task-based learning and uh, learning and teaching. So if we start, so the, the fundamentals of the TBLT, and we'll talk a bit about the challenges and the potential helpful solutions. And then I will provide an example of an AI software, which is Copilot by Microsoft. And then maybe I will give you some uh, suggestions for uh, teaching teaching tips or a mini a demo lesson. Starting from the basics and the fundamentals of the TBLT, uh, any task could be a TBLT task based on how we structure the task itself. First of all, we have to have a clear outcome, a clear task. And when we have that clear task, we prepare it in a way that we prepare our students for that task through the pre-task phase. And once we are done, we wrap it up with our post task that could be anything from assessment to feedback to peer feedback to a teaching moment depending on the outcome that the students provide for example if they are uh, we have a recurrent mistake maybe we can teach grammar at that point we can teach vocabulary it depends on the outcome of our own students so as we said so the basics of the, these are the basics of the dvlt the pre-task the task cycle itself and then at the end we have the language focus or the post task so the challenges is with the group work usually students some students do not like working in groups or do not know how to work in groups and then the second thing is the planning and the preparation. And I will talk later about how AI could be a great tool for this. And then the scaffolding and student support, and then maintaining motivation. And then at the end, the assessment and staffing. And when I say staffing, is having the adequate training for our staff in order to be able to incorporate TBLT and to incorporate the AI into their language uh, classrooms. So uh, talking about AI now, I would love to talk about uh, uh, Copilot. Why I chose Copilot specifically is that the fact that every Microsoft account, with every Microsoft account, usually all schools or all universities, wherever you are teaching, you have a certain Microsoft account. That Microsoft account grants you the free access to AI. I'm not sure if I can share my screen. Can I? Of course, I think so. Let me make sure. Okay, share screen. All participants, there you go. You should be able to. Thank you so much. As you, we can see, <laughs> what did I do? I went to copilot.microsoft.com and it depends on what, what I have left in here. We have, you have uh, the this box, ask me anything. The best way of using this is to keep it in the middle, more balanced, meaning that I'll have more balanced uh, answers or more balanced suggestions. Let's say I'm thinking about uh, today my students will be writing a paragraph about let's say a global warming or about uh, the use of technology or the use of mobile phones in the classroom. So I would say uh, give me some pre- oh, I don't think you've shared your screen, Noradine. Ah, okay, sorry. Sorry. I think you that. have to do something too. Yes, sorry about that. Okay, I'm sharing my screen again. Yeah, it's sharing now. Okay, okay. so yes. So I will start. 
from scratch. So in here, I went to copilot.microsoft.com. So in here, in this box, I can ask AI anything that I would like. I said my idea is to help students write a short paragraph. This paragraph is about whether or not they should use their mobile phones in their classroom or uh, classrooms or an essay. So let's say I, I want some uh, brain some brainstorming activities regarding the use regarding the use so regarding the use of mobile phones in classrooms. So in here, I I will get a number of results in here. So we have CISO for parent communication and students learning, Google Keep for food, Apple Clips for creative projects. So in here, as we can see, creative ideas, or uh, let's say a pre-task, okay, or activities, or warm-up activities, right? Warm-up activities for using technology in the classroom and this is one of the challenges sometimes you know the results are not what we are looking for so even if we incorporate the ai into our classroom this does not mean that the teacher has no role in the classroom still 75 percent of the work is the, the work of the teacher in classrooms okay Okay, so in here, um, create their own quiz, uh, write illustrated story, produce uh, book trailers. Okay, so I, I would say give me examples for number two, for number one. Okay, and they will comic strip creators, digital story touring with Google Slides, interactive ebooks. Uh, virtual field trips okay and again in here always if i would like to download whatever i see i just click on this export and i can download it as a work or as a pdf okay so now give me a prompt for writing an essay on let's say a uh, using technology in the classroom right, in the classroom. Say, in here, they'll give me a number of prompts, okay? So again, and then I can modify the prompt depending on the level of my students. For example, I can say that for ESL students, or for A1 students, for A2 students, for B1 students, for B2 students, and then I have my prompts. And then I have my prompt, and then I would like to get some samples. Give me a sample essay on using technology in the classroom. Okay, so and in here I will have a sample that students can work on, right? So as you can see, this is creating and generating material that can I easily incorporate in my classroom. Do I need specific training? No, because it's very user-friendly. Do I need to pay for it? N not in, in so many cases because most schools provide their teachers with a Microsoft account and the, by uh, logging using your school credentials, you'll be able to do so. I'm done with this. I want to create a rubric. Give me a rubric for the essay or for the prompt prompt above and it will create a, a rubric for me okay so in here uh, so this is not the kind of rubric that i'm looking for maybe okay but still i can keep on trying and i will get the, the rubric that that uh, i'm looking for okay so for example i would say give me a rubric for an essay on uh, an opinion essay or an argumentative essay, let's say. And it will give me a, a full rubric for an argumentative essay. 
if I want to create a table, I would say put this. Uh, well, this is good. Okay, so in here for ESL students, it will remove the work cited. Okay, so I'm done with this. Simplify this rubric for ESL students. Okay, and it will give me a more simple version. Okay, so you say ESL speaking rubric that you your students can and easily understand, and they can modify depending on what I uh, need to do. Okay, so this is a a a small idea about what you need to uh, do. How can we use AI and incorporate it into our classroom? This is was this this is something that you can work on, you can you can get familiar with, and I'm sure that the results are very satisfying, and this is something that you can easily incorporate into your uh, classrooms. Again, one of the challenges, as you can see in here, sometimes we don't get the, the, the answers that we are looking for, but again, we keep on trying and trying, and once you use this very specific uh, vocabulary and you use the very specific uh, tone uh, while you are writing, you'll get the results that you are looking for. Okay, Nordin, I'd like to say thank you for that excellent demonstration of how we can use AI actually to help us as teachers so we don't have to create everything from scratch. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you so much. I hope that this was clear. Yeah, it was very clear. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for today's TTELT podcast. And thank you to Noradeen Sharif for joining us from Ontario, Canada. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you for joining us today. Share with us how you are using these tips. Leave us a comment or voice message on social media or at TTELT.org. Thanks for joining this episode of TTELT, brought to you by Educators Worldwide. Follow, like, and subscribe to TTELT on your social media. And try a new teaching tip today.